I was wondering if I'm over at Space 360. Funka Pro 10 version 10.4 final dropped today and it's an exciting and important release as it has major upgrades and improvement to Final Cut Pro 10 features and functions. Here's a list of some of the things that are part of the release today and they include advanced color grading, high dynamic range videos, importing iMovie projects and support for NFS based libraries and media. But as you can probably guess with all the 360 cameras that are sitting around me, the two main features that I'm really excited about with the 10.4 release is the Final Cut Pro 360 VR editing and the full HAVC import playback and export support. As many of you know that Tim Dashwood, the founder of Dashwood Cinema Solutions and the creator of many 360 video editing plugins for Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, joined Apple in April 2017 this year. And ever since then, I've been waiting and hoping Apple will utilize his expertise in 360 video editing and apply them directly into the Final Cut Pro core product. So with the 10.4 release of Final Cut Pro 10 today, we're finally seeing some of the 360 workflow being integrated directly into Final Cut Pro. It's not perfect, and there are still plugins that were previously in the Dashwood 360 VR toolbox that is not currently available in version 10.4 Final Cut Pro but I think they will come later and it's definitely a move in the right direction for Final Cut Pro products. So let's have a quick look at how the 360 editing works in Final Cut Pro version 10.4. First of all, I have to say it is still a little rough around the edges and some of the features and functions are not as intuitive as, as, as it should be or as you expect an Apple product to be. And the second thing I'll say is that if you haven't done much editing with 360 videos or 4K videos for that matters, um, it is processor hungry and you definitely need a beefy machine, otherwise you'll be like me, seeing a lot of drop frames and a lot of waiting around for video rendering. So as I mentioned earlier, the Final Cut Pro version 10.4 have a lot of new improvement to the Final Cut Pro core product. Some of the changes that are made in the color grading and the color corrections is actually quite amazing. It's actually quite an improvement over the previous functionality. I won't talk about them in this video. The main thing I'll focus in this video is the 360 VR editing and the HEVC editing. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just be using an old 360 video that I shot, I think using the Mesphere. It's just a standard echo rectangular file that all 360 videos come in and we'll use this for the purpose of this video to demonstrate how Final Cut Pro handle echo rectangular and 360 videos. So the first thing we'll notice with version 10.4 Final Cut Pro 10, there is now some specific 360 degree effects in the effects viewer. In order for Final Cut Pro to know that your clips are 360 video clips, you have to go into each one of them and go into the information tab and change the 360 mode to Acro Rectangular. It is important to change this at the clip level, otherwise Final Cut Pro will not recognize the fact that it's a 360 video and will not create a new project with a 360 projection. Once this is done, you can simply drag your clip into a new project and Final Cut Pro will automatically recognize that it is a 360 project. And you can select the 360 projection type that you're after for your project. Version 10.4 of Final Cut Pro now introduce a new 360 view which will allow you to view your standard echo recognition file in its own view as well as a live 360 projection view of your video. In the 360 view you can simply drag around to view around the 360 video and like most other 360 viewer you can change the viewer view by simply changing the slider to make it wider or narrower as you decide your view to be. So now let's take a look at some of the 360 editing features that are now built in into Final Cut Pro version 10.4. Final Cut Pro now allows you to change your orientation of the default view of your 360 videos. This is a must-have feature for 360 editing. To change the default orientation of the 360 video, you can either manually change the tilt, pan or roll of your 360 clip. The most common use for this is simply changing the pan value, which will shift the orientation horizontally around the 360 video. The tilt and roll will also allow you to fix any videos which may not have been shot at a level horizon. There's also an orientation icon which will allow you to simply drag around the echo rectangular file to reorient the clip. Remember to use the 360 viewer to check the final orientation of your 360 video. A common editing need for 360 footage is the removal of a tripod from the video. 
The 360 patch tool offers a simple way of removing the tripod or any other item in your 360 footage that you may want to clone out. It works pretty much like a clone tool, so it only works if what you're patching out is relatively clean and simple, and it still won't help you if you have a lot of movement around the tripod area. Here I have a version of the 360 video which was patched out using the image overlay technique, and here's one using the 360 patch tool. The image overlay is definitely cleaner, but the 360 patch tool was pretty quick to apply and actually did a better job than I expected. There are quite a few other 360 effects that are on offer in version 10.4 of Final Cut Pro. They include 360 blurring, soft focus, aura, bloom, glow, and sharpening. I won't go into all of them here, I might make another video about them, but they're basically as you expect them to be and are made specifically for 360 videos. So you won't get the issues with the unmatched stitch line that you may get if you use the non-360 versions of these effects. Also available in version 10.4 are 360 specific titles and generators. These titles and generators are obviously designed for 360 videos and will allow you to move them to your desired view angle and perspective within the Acro Rectangular video. So basically you won't have the issue if you used standard titles in 360 before where the text are warped around the 360 sphere. I made a quick YouTube video earlier and had a quick look at Final Cut Pro's HEVC support when High Sierra was released as HEVC was officially supported in High Sierra. However, to my disappointment, although HSVC was supported and can be viewed in QuickTime, it was not at that point in time allowed to be imported and edited within Final Cut Pro. I'm glad to report back with the 10.4 release, HEVC is now officially fully supported in Final Cut Pro. You can now import HEVC.265 formatted videos directly into Final Cut Pro and it works great. I was previously concerned about editing these files might be quite slow due to the high compression and thus requiring more work on the processor to edit in real time. To my surprise, I can view, edit and render HFVC clips on Final Cut Pro timeline very smoothly. Okay, that's it for this video. Just a quick look at some of the 360 features in the HFVC support of version 10.4 of Final Cut Pro. It's definitely great that Final Cut Pro have now got 360 video editing tools and I look forward to seeing more development on this front in the future. Hope this video has been useful to you guys. Let me know by popping me a message or comments if you'd like me to do a more detailed look at some of these tools in future videos. Until the next video, it's Warren here from Overexposed360 and I'll catch you all soon on our next video.